it's Paul Wonford here, founder of Extra Life, just bringing you a, another video, slightly different this time though. We're gonna bring you a 20 minute one this morning. So I hope you enjoy it. And the same as always with the members, if you get yourself straight on the dashboard and add that to your dashboard. If you're not a member yet, then check us out at extralife.com, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and uh, get involved. Hope you enjoy it. So the first one, all you're gonna do is just walk out, Bring your feet together, step one, step the other, walk back up, stand tall. Legs are quite wide, walk out, bring your feet together, step one, step the other, walk back up, stand nice and tall. So just keep going through that. And anyone that's using the videos quite a bit will know, I do like these two movements, but they are fantastic for getting the body quite fired up and getting the legs warmed up quite quickly. Let's just keep working through it. Feet together, step, step, walk back up. If your flexibility doesn't let you walk up with straight legs, then don't worry, just let them bend. Step, step, walk back up. And now we're gonna go straight in to a lunge here. So arms up, find your balance, lunge up and down you can see the back knee is almost touching the floor you'll find as I look to the camera I'll have to concentrate on my balance as will you so try and keep your body and your arms and everything straight forward up and down back knee nice and low and just keep pushing through that leg there I'm creating loads of space in my torso, trying to make my upper body as long as possible, just to tax my balance more. Using my big toe on the front foot, otherwise your balance goes to pop. And this minute is nearly up. And then all you're gonna do is find your balance again, swap the legs, and you'll find one side Feels a little bit better than the other one. Be just nice and controlled. Yeah. The next one is also going to be a bit taxing on your balance, but don't worry if you lose your balance during any of these. Just regain your posture and then carry on. Don't try and carry on as you're losing it. Just stop. Regain control carry on. So making this area nice and tall. Big toe, don't forget, on the front foot, really important. This is good though. 10 seconds. And then you're going to come out of this. I'm going to go into quite a slow squat. So quite wide with the feet and they're pointing out. We just squat down, come up, and then come up onto your toes. Squat down low, come up, come up onto your toes. If it feels too wide, just bring them in slightly. Squat low, come up onto your toes. So nice and low, back nice and flat. I'm not arched, back's flat. And there, on your toes as much as you can. Squat down. Again, so stand tall and make the body nice and long. Just keep going. So you've got five seconds. So should get one more and up. And then stand in the middle of the room for this one. We need to step forward, lunge, step back lunge so same leg and if that i'll do one more like that if that is too taxing then just stop halfway on that middle leg ideally though just straight through so a lot of balance required 
on this one. And a little bit of momentum on the back push. So I go down, up, push, step back. Nearly there. If you don't concentrate, you lose your balance. And back. And then swap legs. So forwards, lunge, back, and lunge. If you're losing your balance, just tap at the middle and that'll help you if you need to, that's fine. If not, then just crack on with driving straight through, lunging, straight through, straight back. And trying to keep light on your toes, you see it's coming down quite hefty on that one and again. Just there. You're nearly there with this one. Should get one more through and one more back. Whee! And down. One to the floor. You're on your heel on this foot and you just push it up, coming back down. You put your arms off, you want to make it a bit tougher. Up. If that's too tough on here, then put the whole of this foot on the floor and carry on. Trying to create a nice triangle. So I'm back on my heel now. Triangle from my shoulders up to my knee and down to my ankle. And just push up and come back down. Push up and back down. Just nice and high. Really try, squeeze that leg as high as you can. Squeeze, come back down. Really push, then we're gonna swap. So remember, on the hill, leg straight, push, come back down. Push up, and then nice and controlled on the way down as well. If it's too much on this leg, put the whole foot on the floor instead. But ideally, on the heel, all that does is just make the stability harder and therefore the hamstring will be working harder. Trying to create that nice triangle again, pushing right up, coming back down, right up and then back down. And you've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Just push, come back down, 10. And then the next one, all we're gonna do is in the same position, but you slide your feet together, arms up, I want you to squeeze up, come back down. So the soles of my feet are together. I'll do it sideways on for a second. There, Let's squeeze up, nice and high, come back down. Squeeze up. If it's too tough, then you can put your hands on the floor. But really driving the height into the hips as much as you can. Squeeze, relax. I'm pushing my feet together quite hard and then driving the hips up to create that kind of triangle again from shoulders to knees and then down to the floor. You've got 12 seconds, and then we're on to the next one. So keep going. Keep going. Now, onto your toes, and drive up high. Drive up high, slightly faster than the previous two exercises as well. Pop up high, so a bit of power, bang. Control down. Bang. And you can see I'm right up on my toes. Squeeze the bum together nice and tight as you drive up. Squeeze, come back down. Squeeze the bum. Really create some good height in those hips. 
and you pass halfway and then we're going to go into the last exercise of this routine. You should just keep pushing. We've got 15 seconds left and then we're going to come straight up to standing so make sure we don't feel too dizzy when we do. Less than 10. Up you come, straight up. Just gonna go into a fast lunge. So find your balance on your toes if you can. Back, on your toes on the back leg, that is. The front leg, I'm spreading my toes and I'm using the whole of the foot to keep my balance. And you see I go out, I go down, I come up, I go back. I said that quite quick, so it will follow with the legs. Spread your toes. Step out, drop down, up, back. And you can. Slow it down if you need to. But just keep going. You pass halfway. Spread the toes. Use a big toe. Keep your breathing strong. And you've got 15 seconds to go. Ten. Three. Done, well done. And there's 10 minutes, so we're halfway through. So take a little breather before we kick into the second half of the video. Child's pose is here. And then all you're gonna do is push the hips through and go to there. So just sit back, really open out there, breathe, push the hips through, squeeze your bum and breathe there and go through it. This kind of pace, maybe a fraction quicker if you wish, but no quicker than, a little bit quicker than this. Just past halfway, so just drive the hips through there. Through and just come to there. You got ten more seconds of this one. Nearly there. So sit yourself back and then stand. And all I want to do is there. So I'm not lunging. It's as if I'm starting a lunge. And then my back leg, as you can see, is pretty straight. I'm getting a great stretch down there. So, just there. And feel that stretch as you step in. Keep that back leg quite straight. So I'm pushing back on that heel slightly to exaggerate the stretch. Step back, swap. You're nearly there. And back onto the floor for this one. Grab hold of your ankles or the floor. The normal what you to do is just push up there. Come back down, relax, and push. So you can either go there, give your hands further back if it's easier for you, and there. Or if you're super flexible, and you can push and go here. Probably even more of an arch for some of you, I'm sure. So just push up. Come back down. You've got 20 seconds, just push up. Come back down. If it's too much, like I said, bring your knees in, have your hands here instead and just get a little bit of movement through the hips and through the shoulders. Or if you're much more flexible, just there and you'll get more of an arch through your back as well, I'm sure. Come out of that one, roll over. I'll do it facing you to start with. So I'm gonna roll, send the legs out straight, reach through the middle. Rock back, legs out straight, reach through the middle. Nice roll, 
Legs wide. There. And remember, you're trying to switch off from everything else that's going on at the moment, which is very difficult, I know. And just find some music if you don't like my voice. I won't be offended in the slightest. But just enjoy a bit of time out and a nice stretch. Yeah. Nearly there with this one. And then you're going to go up and here. And all you want to do is push the hips back and then forward. You can relax them right off and hit the floor if you want. So I come up, I push right back into my heels and then I reach forward with the upper body and I relax there. I come up, push back. Take your time, it's cool. Just enjoy the stretches. So you might find actually this is doing you a bit more than that. So hang out back there or here. Or just flow through it all. And you've got 10 seconds. Then this one. I want you to step round, which you've done before me, I'm sure. But this arm goes through this gap and then you come up. So we go through that gap, we reach as far as you can. And then you come up that way. Reach. Rotate. If you need a breather or it's too much of a stretch, you can see I put the back knee down and I'm doing so that will take the edge off the stretch if it's feeling a bit too brutal for you with the knee up. Ten seconds and then we're just gonna swap legs. So Last one there, and reach, and then swap. So this arm goes through, and I'll rotate away. This arm through the gap, and rotate there. Just breathe. If it's too much, remember, the back knee can come down, and it just takes the pressure off the stretch slightly, so you might enjoy it a bit more than being up there. Twenty seconds. Ten. And you're going to stand. And all I want you to do is rotate round that way, as far as the body will go. And then rotate round that way. You can see I'm letting the hips go a bit. But keeping it controlled. So I'll do it sideways on. Right round. something we don't do unless you play a rotational sport. We don't rotate much. As adults, loads of kids, when you're playing games and sport. 15 seconds. We can see, I'm not whipping into this, it's not rapid. It's just controlled. Nice and controlled. You're nearly there with this one. And we're gonna go, and my favorite, but slightly different. We're gonna walk out a little bit. And then I'm going to push the hips back. And then 
walk back up just to here walk the hands out a bit and then I'm pushing back into my bum and the back of my legs I feel the stretch running right down the hamstrings and into the calves I walk back hang slightly go again get my hands out quite far and then just push the hips back feel it really firing up the back of the leg and just walk back back to there and then just hold this one for the last bit of this for 10 seconds nearly there and then all you're going to do spin round and I want you to stretch right down let that foot rotate so stretch and I'm rocking round so I can come up onto that hill Some of you will go even lower, I'm sure, and you can. And you can go right down to there if you want. Pop an arm up, so you can go there. Or, if it's too much, you just get that kind of movement going. But if you can, get the rotate and the stretch. But 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And then carefully stand yourselves up, bring your feet together. Just come up slow. Because you might feel a bit lightheaded after all of that, but hopefully you feel better for that. Should have stretched everything out quite nicely. Might have got a bit of a sweat on, especially if you're indoors. I hope you enjoyed it. If you remember then straight over to your dashboard, fill it out, keep it updated. If you're not a member, find us at exalife.com. Find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.